Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna be checking out what gift we get from Sarsila's advent calendar for day 19 and there are also some other topics that I wanted to talk about. One of them including one really great decision that SSO just made. I'm just very happy about. Also I'm going to show you which horse you have to find today but anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video as always and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. I don't know if anyone saw it but on one of like my advent calendar videos I commented that my normal like video editor doesn't work. I don't know why it says I don't have a license but I bought it. I contacted the customer support and let's hope that gets fixed soon because it's honestly annoying. I'm using CapCut right now because I th I don't think I have any other like video editing software and I mean it's fine but obviously I'm used to the other one like the Sony Vegas and it's just so annoying because with Sony I can do everything really quickly and here I'm just like I'm so lost but yeah I I wonder if it's gonna get resolved anyway I guess this doesn't really have much to do with anything but anyway I finally found a good reshade for the winter village and I'm just so happy it looks so good if you do the like filter off glitch it does have the blurring effect but you can remove it but anyway like look at how good it looks but anyway I'm just so happy because I honestly don't think I'll finish the winter magic Thing because it's a lot. Here's the gift that we got for day 19. This is definitely my favorite box. The numbers are still off the center but it's fine. Okay, let's just open it up and let's see what we're going to get. And we got food. Wait. Um, okay, so we got five apples, five carrots, and five oranges, and the resale value for Jorvik shillings is 150. Honestly, I think this is a good gift. Okay, like, hear me out. I feel like in a lot of the, like, holiday gift-giving situations, like, fruit, or I guess, like, dried fruit or, like, food was kind of, like, filler gift and I don't know I actually kind of liked it I want to eat like dried apple slices right now to be honest and like other dried fruits um I might go buy it <laughs> but anyway okay, let's go check out which horse you have to find for today again I'm just really happy with the shaders oh my gosh and I don't know why but anytime I dance next to the Christmas tree, my horses don't dance. I mean, they do, but they do like one move and then they stop, which is so annoying. I don't know why. I went on SSO Mobile and my horse danced there. So yeah, like why is that happening? I want to see them dance because honestly, some of them have some pretty impressive moves. And I just, I don't get why it doesn't work. Like, is it my computer? Is it the game? I just, I don't even know. Anyway, let's go find the horse. And oh, okay, I see it. I think it's the Brinnacle today. Brinnacle and I have a long history. He's actually the reason why I started YouTube again after like taking a break a few years ago. So honestly, I like him. I don't think I have it on any of my main accounts. Maybe I should buy him, but it's fine. Oh, and we're just in the ground again. It's kind of funny how the, <laughs> the gingerbread follower just like happily jumped after us. But again, I just find it so annoying how my horses can't dance. Like, why can they not dance? But anyway, one actually pretty good decision that SSO made and today they talked about it is the increase of winter magic for actually completing... I don't know, different activities. They posted this to their story. They said, hey, Star Fam, we hear you. After the Wednesday update, there will be more chances to earn winter magic and a higher reward for all activities. They already mentioned that each week we're gonna get more activities with which we'll be able to gather more winter magic. But even with the lost horse, like the one here, you get 400 winter magic, but that's once per day. And I don't know, I mean, I'm still so glad that they saw that 18,000 winter magic is a lot. I mean, if there were more activities, some of which would give you like more winter magic, I would get it. But for the most part, you literally get one for one, like just collecting snowflakes and stuff. And I get that a lot of people have 
like finished the winter magic by now but a lot of people haven't and I feel like a lot of us have just given up and aren't even trying so I'm glad that they decided to you know go back and revisit this whole idea. Another pretty exciting thing that they posted about today are two new horses that we're going to get during the Wednesday update. We already knew about them and I mean I've made a million spoiler videos about them but I don't know why each time I look at them they look more cute. They posted this, while not as magical as Lebkuchen and Vettel, these two new code variations sure fit the theme of winter. The new Shire and Icelandic horse will be available in the Winter Village on December 20th. The Shire will cost 900 star coins and the Icelandic will be 950. And these two code variations will be permanent additions to Jorvik, which is pretty cool. I already talked about them. I used to hate the Icelandic code. But it's really grown on me, like I don't know why, I just find it so cute. And I absolutely adore the Shire coat, the only problem is I don't like the redness in its mane and tail, so I don't think I'm going to get it. But it's always cool when SSO adds some like horse recolors to the game, because there's so many breeds that are really popular and I mean it is also really easy for them to like just create one more code variation instead of creating a whole new horse model, animations, gates, all of that. So honestly I feel like they should do it more often. I remember back in the day, instead of getting a new horse breed, we would get I think three new like horse recolors which was always very exciting and a lot of people bought them so I feel like it kind of entices people to buy more horses of the same breed because I feel like for the most part most people buy like one coat variation for each breed but when a horse recolor comes out they might buy that one or they might even buy some that has been in the game for a while now. I kind of want to get more Dutch Wormbloods I do think the Belgian Wormbloods look a little better, but I just hate how they can't stay still for like just a few seconds. They keep throwing their head in the air and I just find it so annoying. The Dutch Wormbloods, on the other hand, are just perfect. So I think, oh, I don't know, I kind of want to get either the Chestnut or the Cremello. But anyway, let me know what you think about today's gift and SSO's decision to give us more winter magic. I hope you enjoyed as always and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!